folks, I'm super excited to finally be testing out a Makita string trimmer. And this is, you know, an advancement in their 18 volt. All right, guys, I've been waiting to finally try one of these string trimmers from Makita. Super excited. As you know, I think the best chainsaws in the outdoor power equipment arena um, and the best lawnmower all right now their blower they finally have an 18 volt blower that i really like really light really compact quiet probably the most quietest uh you know blower out there but i've never tried a string trimmer so this is their x2 okay so a little bit different than the one that's in the depot right now for $199. Um, this has a 15 inch swath, all right? Um, 9.7 pounds only, and that's with two batteries, all right? Um, really excited to try this sucker out. And what I really like is I love the head on it because I don't think I'm gonna have to put this guard on. But let's open her up and take a look. All right, so just like their uh, chainsaw, comes with uh, this little tote. Um, and I guess this is where some of the um, hardware is, obviously, for the trimmer guard and stuff like that. But you get one with the 10-inch um, brushless chainsaw as well. But with that, you really have nothing to put in it. But you can obviously use it for something else. But, you know, a real nice feature that they throw that in. Um, it comes, you know, what I like about these makita and especially the milwaukee um you don't have to put two pieces together all right like the dewalt's all right again this is really made for the commercial um person all right um it's weird how they market because that 18 volt string um hedge trimmer is made for the commercial all right now i'm not talking to one about the one that's you know $129 at the depot they have an amazing 18 volt came out last year where it has a swivel um, head on it it's got different speeds you know it's got like 4100 strokes per minute it's absolutely crazy actually I think it's 4300 so you know my still steel um, hedge trimmer I think has like 4000 all right, so it actually beats, you know, a $500 commercial hedge trimmer. Um, so I think that 18 volt trimmer, uh, again, that's, wow, this is so light. But, you know, they have to make up for that because of the two batteries. So I bet you this really doesn't weigh much more than the 18 volt. All right, um, man, this, this, no doubt about it without a battery in it. This is the lightest uh, string trimmer on the market um, and look how small this head is my god all right so you do got some work to do putting this together though um, out of the box so let, let's let's put her together here get her going all right head took actually 30 seconds to put on um this is they have the um the bolts and the washers for your guard already attached all right um if you're not going to use you know the guard um you know you can take these off that's probably what i'm going to do put them in a safe place but obviously this is where you would put your um your guard all right and then pretty much after that you're just putting your handle on and you're ready to, to rock and roll. All right, folks. Took literally, <laughs> I don't know, five minutes to get this out of the box and ready to, to go. What's awesome is I love the handle. All right, totally adjustable. You got these two rubber, um, you know, molds that both of the brackets fit into. All right, so really easy to put on. So what you do is pretty much slide them into here and it kind of locks them into place and then you can screw it down. 
But again, if you don't like it here, you just loosen this piece right here with your little Allen wrench and move it wherever you want, up, down, all right? You know, can't do that with the DeWalt, all right? Um, and that's pretty much it, guys, all right? You got three different modes here, all right? And uh, I'll put in the description, and I'll probably I'll talk about it too, the different um, speeds, RPM-wise, okay? Um, and this also has a reverse, just like the hedge trimmer. All right, and um, you know, push button on and off switch, same as their chainsaw. Um, yeah, and I think, and all rubber, rubber here. Obviously, this is all rubber. You got that rubber stopper here. Um, just really nice. You actually have um, a nice fitting here. All right, I mean, the actual motor is very, very small. All right. It, it, it's amazing, and I, I just can't get over how lightweight this is. That I don't know. I, I, I if the 18 volt, okay. I got to see Steve, with the 18 volt. I don't know if it has a 15 inch um, swath on it. If it does, man, because being able to just use one battery, and it's not only just using one battery. You know, now I got to carry two batteries. All right, um, but it is super light, and probably even with the batteries, one of the lightest string trimmers out there. All right, so super simple, obviously. And again, I took off those two little bolts. Uh, this is where your guard's gonna go. Took them out. Everything's in the bag. Once I show you the guard, all right, it's a very small guard too. I might even end up putting it on. I'm gonna have to see because it's so small. It really doesn't. The thing is. If I can operate this, see how nice this is? This is huge. All right, so this is pretty much just like the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee 16 inch, this is a 15 inch. All right, so really, really nice. And I like how it's tilted. Um, I'm, I'm excited. But again, this is where your guard would go. And again, all your other stuff you can keep in your bag with your, you know, your safety glasses, the strap, the guard, if you don't want to put it on. All right, so let, let's get this show on the road here, man. All right, so real quick, you got your actual um, head with trimmer line ready to go in your little tote here, tote bag. All right, you get some safety glasses, which is a nice touch. You got some hardware to put on your, your head, and they give you a little strap. All right, if it's a little bit, you know, over time, you're doing a, uh, you know, you're doing it for a long time, you want to help take the weight of the trimmer, you got a little strap here. Um, personally, I don't use these, but, you know, if you're older or, I don't know, you might have a bad back or something, these definitely come in handy. And this one is very nice, too. Um, and you got your handle. Okay, that's it. All right, so we'll get this hooked up and we'll see you in action. All right, I'm gonna show you on all the different speeds here, okay? This is speed one. All right, this is speed two. And this is speed three. That is crazy. This thing, this thing can move. All right, so you know what? Let's start. You know what? Let's max this out. Even though I know I can do this on speed two, I can probably do this on speed one. But a lot of uh, grass here, overgrown. All right. Need to 
use this guys on speed three. This thing is way, way, <laughs> way overboard here. And I love it without the head. It is so light. Wow. You know, I never thought I would say, you know, the fact that this has two batteries, that's really the only thing, but I don't know if I even care. This thing is a beast. And the fact that it has three modes, you know, most string trimmers now, the newer ones, you do get a high and a low. But to have three different speeds, and you also have that reverse setting. All right, I'm going to show you right now. And then I'll show you up close. Now it's going in reverse. All right, it only goes in reverse for a little while, just to kind of get, if you're kind of stuck in something, then it goes automatically back into the normal mode. But it's blinking, I'll show you. See, it only does it for a second to maybe untangle you from, you know, some high weeds, you know, shrubs or something, and then it kind of shuts itself off. All right, really impressed. Let's see what else she can do. All right, folks. All right, folks, I'm gonna use speed two because speed three is really too much for this. All right, I got poison ivy, um, tall grass, weeds in here. We're gonna show you. Super light. Awesome. All right, we're going to do speed two again. I'm doing this with one hand. I'm actually filming with my other. That's how well balanced this is. Your forearm can rest right against uh, the top part of the motor housing. I mean, awesome. One hand. One hand, guys. All one hand. One hand, guys. This whole thing was grass, guys. Probably two feet to two and a half feet. Took it all down like it was nothing, guys. We're going to have some more with it. Again, all done with one hand, this last part here. And my hands are not even tired, my arm. Very comfortable. All right, guys, one hand again, setting number one. All right, lowest RPM and the most quietest mode. Again, maybe you're string trimming early in the morning um, or late at night. I don't know. You don't want to bother your neighbors, but setting number one. Again, one hand.
be a lot quicker with two, but I don't want you to miss any of this either. One hand setting number one. Mode one again. Thick tall grass here. All right, we're going to start on three here, setting three. And I want to show you guys how long I keep my string here. All right, if I had a guard on here, okay, it would take probably an inch off of each um, side. So this is probably around 17 inches right now, okay? And does it no problem. Got this? was all speed three now we're gonna go down to what I usually use setting number two which is I believe 5500 rpm which is more than enough and again it'll help save battery life I don't need I mean this thing is just crazy powerful and unnecessary unless I get into some really it's great to have don't get me wrong but you know why use all that rpm if you don't need to. All right, setting number two. Weeds, poison ivy, tall grass. Let's see how she does. here and try to get some of these weeds probably three three and a half foot tall grass here all right I'm going to show you how simple it is on um, setting number two take this down we're going to finish doing some of these weeds here remember use a guard all right, this big one right here. That was nothing. And again, this will kick up RPMs. If this senses that it's not able to do it, um, you know, on setting two, it'll kick up. All right, let's go out front. All right, setting number one here.
still going to cut all that high, tall grass. setting one guys all right let's go see the front all right speed three guys we're gonna edge this really really simple to edge with this i absolutely love it you just your forearm rest right here you got your safety trigger see that clear vision it's so easy What keeps happening, guys, is that it slows down. Remember, I have this at 17, all right, 17 inches, all right? Obviously, I lost a little. That's really way too much RPM for edging. What it was doing is that it would slow down and pick up. Um, so going on number two would probably be the best way to do it, but look at that edging. Just really, really clear, really, really simple. And as I can see, it's almost like using an edger here. Here, let's try it on speed two. Start down here. kind of um, stops and starts for some reason. I don't know, it could be me too. It's just so, <laughs> the RPMs are <laughs> incredible. But <clears throat> I let this go long on purpose, obviously, so you can see. But definitely <laughs> one of the best lithium ion I mean, RPM-wise, I don't even think my gas um, trimmers can just spin as fast as this Makita. Great trimmer, folks. Speed 2. All right, folks, as you can see, and you, you can't, it's so silent that you can't really feel the power or, you, I mean, obviously you can't feel it. You can't really see it. I'm telling you, there is no other lithium ion trimmer, even the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee, you'll hear it. It starts to bow down. All right. It also starts to, I don't want to say slow or slow down the RPM but it cannot really handle uh, the trimmer line, you know, over that 16 inch um, swath. You know, obviously you can go maybe to 17, but again, I like using it 17, 18 inches. And again, a lot of gas powered uh, trimmers. Once I start kind of getting a little bit too long, um, and that could be another issue with the Milwaukee, because people tell me all the time they have problems with their, um, and actually, and you got to use a guard, all right? That's because I don't use one because I know a lot of people have watched me and now they're not using guards. It's, 
you know, use a guard. It, it, these things can be definitely, you don't want to be shooting a rock.